How would I describe a home? Well, a home is much more than just a roof over your head. Home is the foundation for everything else you're going to do in life. A home is a place where people can be themselves. I don't know, home is a cocoon. Home is warmth, laughter, love. When you have a home, you have hope. That's what Housing Works is. Housing Works is a, is a community of people living with and affected by HIV and AIDS. Most of all, though, it provides housing. People need to get sober, stop using drugs, deal with their mental health issues. Well, you can't do any of those things if you don't have a place to live. If you were to drive around New York City, you would find either a Housing Works cafe, a Housing Works bookstore, a Housing Works housing facility, a Housing Works healthcare center, all there to make sure that our clients have what they need and be part of the community. These buildings are more than just a roof, four walls, and shelter. They're all about rebuilding lives. My name is Felicia Carroll. I've been positive for 25 years. And at one point, I felt that there was no hope. I was close to homelessness. I was so depressed. I didn't care about anything. Then I discovered how it works. That changed everything. Well, I was diagnosed in February of 92. I tried very hard to end my life by all means necessary. I know what it is to be stigmatized and be outcast, you know, and housing work doesn't do that. I was in prison, and I wasn't always a good guy. Like, I was on both sides. Housing Works was giving me another chance, another chance to succeed and to right every wrong. Housing Works, it's like anything is possible when you have a home. When somebody walks through these doors at 874 Jefferson Avenue, I can see all the weight in the world just come off their shoulders. Our approach to housing is different. We really strive for it to be a beautiful house where people can live and be amongst beautiful things. We've realized that when you sort of raise that bar and you give people nice things, it gives people a sense of dignity and it tells them that we value them. This is my home, 874 Jefferson Avenue, Brooklyn, New York. This is my house. <laughs> Excuse me if I'm blushing. Housing Works has heart, and it really goes to me to what makes me happy. I think a home is so important for any individual, and that at the heart is Housing Works' sort of message, that if you have housing, if you have a home, if you have a safe haven, you can get on your feet and you can just be who you are. And I think Housing Works really allows people to be who they are. Early on, Bob and I were talking, and we both remembered our childhoods, our teenage years, and how difficult they were uh, being gay and closeted in an environment that really wasn't open and welcoming. Housing Works passes no judgment, and I would expect nothing less than that. I guess one of the things that I didn't realize 25 years ago when we first started the business was how much of an effect you could have on the community. And Mitchell and I are very pleased to be able to share our success with Housing Works. How many more people would be on the streets? How many more people would be ill not being taken care of? It's really a critically important part of what happens in the New York community. One of my very best friends lives with, endures um, HIV. And what Housing Works does for people suffering, living with, battling HIV and AIDS is remarkable. And I know I want to be there for every step of that battle. 10 years. 10 years. 10 years of Design on the Dime. I can't believe it's been 10 years. There were six of us. We were at the 23rd Street location. And today, there's 64 designers, which is just astounding. It's really a time when so many different people from the community come together. And that's how we solve problems, when people come together and chip in and understand the importance of doing good for others. Everybody comes with their hearts and their checkbooks, ready to give big. And that just makes for a really glorious evening. It's the best. It's my favorite night in New York. I think it's very easy to get involved with Housing Works. You can just give your stuff away. That's being involved. I don't think people realize how much value there is to a bag of clothes or a bundle of books. 
Every bit counts. It's fun to shop, it's fun to give, and it makes a huge difference. Cash is always king. <laughs> I learned that one from Mitchell. <laughs> If you stop and think for a minute, without Housing Works, what would the city look like? I believe that we can end AIDS. Housing Works is hope. It's gotten me back to caring about other people beside myself. When you have a home, you have more than hope. The greatest reward is giving. It's such a joy being a part of the Housing Works family. You can take on the world. Trust me. Trust me. After everything you go through, with the help and support of Howlin' Works, you could do anything that you want to do. Don't ever give up hope. Never, never, never. Just keep it, keep it moving, like my mother said, keep it moving.